What's up guys, welcome to my channel. This is Anna Mugeshe and the channel is bringing hope in life. I've really struggled to take this video. I'm doing it somewhere outside and please if it comes with some noise from the nature, just forgive me. How are you doing? What's up? What are you doing? How is it going? I hope you're well. I hope you're fine. Thank you so, so much for showing me a lot of uh, love uh, through watching my videos, sharing my videos. And for those who have subscribed, thank you so, so, so much. Have you subscribed? If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Support me and subscribe and become a member and a part of this family. So if you're new in the channel, I have been doing the episodes of my story as Anna and as a woman. And I have done several. Please, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe and let us continue experiencing our experiences. If there's an English like that, so that we can build each other and support each other and give each other hope. Because if you're new in the channel, that is all what this channel is all about. So please do subscribe. These are the videos, the episodes that I'm calling Filanga Free. Feel free. Coming with a lot of humor. Though at this juncture, the episodes that I've been doing, uh, the part of the story that I am in on my life, which is something that I carry with a lot of burden and with a lot of, somehow a lot of pain. But I thank God because I have learned somehow to let go because imagine this when you're in school our teachers used to ask us i don't know whether we are still asking that today what do you want to be when you grow up this video for today i want us to tell about i mean to talk about when i grow up i want to be a b c d those were fairy tales true or false were they dreams were they stories for me there were fairy tales. It was a story because I'm not even closer to what I wanted to be. Number one, let's talk the truth. What did you say you wanted to be when you grow up? That is a question that we used to be asked when you're in a school. And I'm even sure that the generation which is after us, uh, they were also asked the same, same question. If you hear people talking from outside, those are my neighbors and their kids. So forgive me and let us enjoy these. Yes. It may not be very clear. It may be clear because I'm outside and I've said I've really struggled to do this. So welcome me as I welcome you by subscribing. What did you want to be when you grow up? And by the way, when do we grow up? When they asked us, the teachers asked us, what do you want to be when you grow up? When was that? Have we grown up? When do we grow up? When do we become what we wanted to be? Because uh, if you look at my first uh, episode and then my first story, there's a lot of wheat. If uh, it will come into the video, forgive me. Uh, I mean, oh my God, what did I want to say? <laughs> you guys, I told you I'm in the house. And so if I keep mixing things, uh, it is how the story is. What do you want to be when you grow up? We used even to write compositions. But to me, those were fairy tales because I don't know whether I became what I wanted to be when I grow up and whether I have grown up yet. I don't know. You please engage me and tell me. And by the way, you guys, you're watching my stories and you're not you're not encouraging by en uh, engaging me. Kwa nini ya muniongeleshi? Why aren't you talking to me? Si muniadikie muniabie? Ayu? Niadikie ni muniabie? Comment. Comment zina kuanga hapo chini. <laughs> yes. <laughs> comment zina kuanga hapo chini. You look where there is comment. You comment. Ask me a question. Tell me whether you can relate with these stories and tell me when are we supposed to grow up and become what we wanted to be. And what did you say you wanted to be? I'll tell you what I wanted to be when I grew up. I don't know whether I've still grown. I don't know. <laughs> so when I grow up, Please, teacher, when I grow up, I want to be a pilot. Seriously? Was that your answer? When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. Those were the most common for us during our generation. I don't know about this other generation. 
<laughs> Nobody said when I grow up I want to be a teacher. They did, by the way, our time. Nowadays, I don't know whether they are doing it. So me, I wanted to be a pilot. That was a dream or a fairy tale. Trust me. Did you become a pilot if you said you wanted to become a pilot? And you know, by the end of it all, if you look at this season that we are in, I wanted to be a pilot. I wanted to be a doctor. Those are vanities of vanities. Those things are almost useless now because whatever you wanted to be, the world life now has become to a standstill because of the virus. So if you wanted to be a pilot for the first time, a pilot has, been not, has not been working for, for a few months now. If you wanted to be a doctor, they are very much overwhelmed. If you are a doctor, I salute you. Thank you so much for taking care of, our, of us. If you are a nurse, congratulations. Those are the things that I wanted to be, but I wasn't. I did a course that was chosen for me. And I will insist in this. Parents, stop choosing what your children will do. Stop choosing. Your legacy, you will carry your legacy by what you do. Your children will not carry your legacy. Excuse me. Parents, where are you? Are we in this? Don't choose a course for your child. And you tell them to work hard in it. You know, as we said, you wanted to be doctors and you are told to work hard in chemistry and biology. And uh, with what I am doing now, I don't know what chemistry and biology is doing to me. This is not discouragement of those who are in form force. Please, work hard in what you want to be. I was a bookworm. I worked very much in sciences, and I did not become what I wanted to be when I grew up. That is why I'm asking, have I grown up? You guys, have you grown up? When you grow up, what did you want to be? Those are fairy tales. And this is the topic and the title of my video for today. I worked hard in sciences. I worked hard in the subjects I was told to work hard in so that I become that pilot and that doctor. I never became one. Some of these subjects, I don't even know how I use them. But at least I have that knowledge. So I chose that. And as I have been eating, eh, nimekuwa nikikulia hii kosi yenye nilifanya, the one that I didn't want to be because I didn't even choose to be what I am today. I, I had chances to change the course, those fairy tales, eh? to become what uh, somehow I wanted to be, not even closer to what I wanted to be. But uh, financially, I was challenged. So I tried twice. It couldn't work. So sometimes I sit down and ask myself, should I have done things different? No regrets. Sometimes regrets. Uh, sometimes I wonder if I never did that cause that was chosen for me, what would have become of me? And you know, I think uh, those fairy tales, I think I've grown up. To change what I have been doing somehow, I can, but it's hard. It is hard to change. So what did you want to be when you grow up? A pilot? A doctor? And did you become what you wanted to be when you grew up? If you are what you enjoy doing right now, please tell God thank you. Some of us were forced by circumstances to do what we are doing today. We couldn't even be enjoying them. Some of us are not even enjoying what we are doing. Uh, only that we can make the ends meet. And we have to do it because we have the ends. We have to make the ends meet. Yes, that's how serious it is. Please make sure that you get what I'm saying. I am unable to shout. And uh, I thank God for this opportunity to talk to you guys. Kindly talk to me. What did you want to be when you grew up? Are you what you wanted to be right now? Are you enjoying what you're doing right now to make the ends meet? Kindly, hands up if you're really enjoying what you're doing. If you're forced by circumstances to do what you're doing now, hands up. If you're forced to do a course that you're eating on, unakulia saizi, hands up. Let's talk to each other and say, this is what happened. It is out of default that I did that course. It's out of default that I'm doing this business because there's nothing else that I can do. But we thank God because we have the strength, we have the healthy, I mean the health, kizungu ndiyo yo tena, to do it. So how are you doing, guys? Were those fairy tales for you or it came to be? The courses that you did. I said I had time to change it. 
financially i was challenged i could not change the course until when that one will come later when i grew up i don't know whether i'm still growing up or i've grown up when i decided to um to progress in this course that i was chosen for it's been painful because i know this is not what i wanted to be it's been bitter but i have learned to live with it and i have learned to let it go because there is comes the weed and uh some breeze and some noises from uh, around the, co the the neighborhood but uh just get what you're talking about please don't pity me don't sympathize with me just encourage me by showing me that you're listening sharing these videos uh subscribing and engaging me so that i can do how you guys are carrying on with what was put on you not for you but for them how is it going on how are you carrying on are you still bitter are you still carrying those people who chose the the the, the course to do for you the worst for me is that i even got a grade to go to university direct but nobody showed me how to choose those courses so you have a form for a form for student in your house kindly show them how to choose the courses according to how they pass and the grades that they get because if they choose higher courses their grades will not allow them i did not get someone to advise me on this so by the end of it all i got the grades to go to university and nobody directed me on what grades and what course will go along with my grades and the grades that i was getting along the form four class so please help them and support them you have a form four cousin a form four brother sister nephew help them choose the right courses according to how they perform i leave you for now have you subscribed please do i'm waiting for you to subscribe sir sir why are you watching and you're not subscribing just trust me the consistency and the strength that god will give me i'll not let you down this is my story my name is anna mugeshe kindly subscribe another episode is coming on friday welcome and welcome let us encourage each other and god bless you uradhi muo muno na gainia kwedete sema amen amen i have to go now bye bye and shalom